This is my review on a 1977 open Bible. I got this Bible off eBay and it wasn't advertised as a open Bible and that's why I've got it so cheap. And it does say it's with personal study guide by, w, by Dr. W.S. McBurney. I think that's how you pronounce it. And as you can see there is no there is no open Bible actually written on it. It is the King James Version. And I have changed the ribbons to three Barrasford ribbons. I took the old ribbons out. Um, I took them out because they were just a little bit, just a bit tatty. So they're the original ribbons. But as you can see, the ends were a bit tatty and there was only two of them. So I added three ribbons, as you can see. It is gold gilding and it is a leather Bible, leather cover with a paste down. It is actually a glued binding. But this Bible has not been used. And if it has, very rarely it has been used. I actually broke this in and I actually had to unstick some of the page, pages which were still stuck together with by the gold gilding. And as you can see it is a paste down and it hasn't been that used because normally you would have crinkle, wrinkles across here on the paper and there's nothing. There's no tears in the in here or anything it's all good condition the only um, notes you have on that he has put in here they've got put in are these ones here it just um it's like a seven step to know your bible and how to study your bible it's actually not too bad i mean i was reading through it but um, you know, and you can study chapter by chapter and verse by verse and do do word studies and all that sort of stuff. And he explains how to do it. So, and he, which is quite quite good actually. But anyway, it's actually written. Off, it's actually on the cardstock. And then we come to the open Bible itself. And you'll just find here it is a seventy-seven. It's also printed, as you can see, it's also printed in in the United States. You do have your your normal your, your index at the front here with your Thompson chain for all your studies and reference studies and stuff like that. Subject headings, subject studies. Between this and a um, Thompson chain, I think you have the perfect study Bible. Between, between this one and the Thompson I mean you're not going to miss out on any references that's for sure with with having both these Bibles now everyone knows that this goes forever it is quite a large index but there's a few other features I wanted to show you in this Bible the beginning of the book introductions are actually different in this than they are in the newer ones you have here the title, the date and authorship, historical and purpose, which is quite quite a lot. Historical backgrounds, which I found was quite interesting. There, right? it goes on for quite a bit, and you have the outline of the of the Bible. Now you have this on every single. This is on every single book. You have that introduction. Now. We move to the middle part where you have where you will have a reading plan. So it does the whole year for the reading plan. And it's between the text between the two testaments, which yeah, talks about the you know, Alexander the Great and the Apocrypha and all that sort of stuff. This does have the Christian studies outline as well, which is quite good, especially for a new Christian. It is quite, and you know, even if you're an older Christian, it is still good to go over this sort of stuff to refresh yourself with it all. Yeah. I found this, the helps in this are quite good. It is a red letter, as you can see. It's quite a nice red letter too. I do like how they have here in the text, they do have 
like just here they'll have it's a T and then it'll actually tell you the alternative word for it down here so if you're not used to reading the King James Bible this Bible is excellent for that see just here see does it again in number 11 and there's your T I do find that quite helpful especially if you're not used to the King James Bible and also because this is the older one you don't have you do have your notes still here at the bottom but you also have a whole heap of, of cross references as well so this goes all the way back to verse 1 in Matthew because we're at the end of Matthew here and it goes all the way to your extra cross references as well in this sorry about the birds it's early morning here and the birds have all decided to wake up So you have a lot of extra cross references in this which is quite good you also have here the teachings of Christ which goes on for a few pages the prophecies it has exactly what well, it has a little bit just a little bit less of what the the 19 1985 one has but I don't think you're missing too much out of this one I mean it is a nice it is a nice font this one it is a 10 10 point font and uh, I have a nine I have an 85 and that font is around an eight and a half to a nine so it is a nice size font in this you got the archaeology discoveries now there is no pictures for it but they talk about each article and I like this one here the outline history of the 12 apostles they've got an outline of every single apostle on here which is a great help I really like that helps with if you're doing a study on that specific person it goes for a few pages and it does mention them all I find that quite good. Now you've got here a guide to the Christian workers. So it pretty much has what you know what the 85 has in it. I can't tell you what the the newer open Bibles are because I don't actually have one and when I seen the newer ones I don't uh, I, yeah I just yeah, I like the older setup I did, so that's why I've gone with an older one. I mean, I will check out the new Kate, the new King James ones when they come out, but yeah, I don't know if I'll buy one. I might just couple of, watch a couple of YouTube videos on it and see what I think. You've got a concordance, which is quite a good concordance. This was quite interesting too. I found the laws of the Bible so all those sins are all listed and where you're going to find them and they also to give you the page number now I know the, the orders of my books so I found that a little bit distracting with to use the numbers so I just you know I just used the, the, the books to find where I was going now, like I said you do have a concordance and it's quite it's quite a good size concordance and it's also really readable And you also have some paper at the end, quite a few sheets of blank paper if you want to write notes in. Nothing has been written in this volume. And then you have your maps, your older maps. As you can see, there's nothing written in this Bible, even down the bottom here, see, there's no wrinkling of the paper. The corners are quite nice. You can see them and like I said she is a genuine rubber but it's got a really nice grain on this as you can see just quite a nice grain
That's what's on in the front. And you've got the cross at the front as well, which is something different. I've never seen that on an open Bible before. Hmm. So, I mean, but that print is really nice. And this paper is really different too. It's a lot thicker. And there's, next, there's not a lot of ghosting on this at all. It's actually quite, quite comfortable to read. It does have a little bit of self-pronouncing in it, but not a lot. You do have your chapter headings as well in this. And I also like that they have dates here as well. I like that in this. The 85 doesn't have the dates. And I'm not sure if the new one has the dates either. But I do like that. So... I mean, you can even see the gold gilding's quite good on this still. A few scratches, but that's just wear and tear. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this thing was never used. And if it was, it was just flipped through a few times. I mean, the presentation page isn't it? I'll show you the presentation page. The presentation page isn't even filled out. And like I said, I got this really cheap on on eBay because they didn't know it was a open bottle. So and I've been after one of these for quite a long time. But that print is nice. It says the red in this. It's very nice. You've got a few notes down the bottom and you do have the underlining here as well. I was watching a video the other day and they said that the underlining isn't in the new Bible, so in the new open Bible. But it is in this one. Just trying to find some more. There's some more there for you. So, well, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks for watching and God bless everyone. Bye.